I just feel like I'm an all-around better fighter than Mendoza. I mean, he fought two quality guys back to back, but I feel like Rosario was a shell of himself. And then Fandora was just a, a good shot. I ain't gonna say lucky shot, it was just a good shot. He got caught cold. And, but I feel like with those guys, I, I possess better defensive skills. I'm young, I feel like I'm like more athletic. So it's just, a, I just feel like comparing me to those guys or anything like that, or comparing myself, like I can't really see myself. I can't really say I can do this because Fondora did this. I'm a whole different fighter than Fondora. So it just like styles me fights. And I just feel like my style, I'm just, my style is better than his style. I think my style can beat his style. I think my style can beat any style, so. Okay, so we move out of that echelon of guys and mm -hmm. we move to the upper tier, yeah. the top tier yeah. of the division. Uh, naturally, one face, one name at 154. Sure. Uh, Jamel, the Iron Man, Charlo, mm -hmm. the undisputed champion at 154. Mm -hmm. How do how do you match up versus, versus him? I feel like, me personally, I think that's the best fight in the division, me versus him. I feel like it's gonna be a bring all action fight. I don't take a step back. He doesn't really take a step back. We both got that warrior mentality that we're not gonna lose. So. They can only bring fireworks, but I feel like me, I'm more, I'm less emotional than him. I feel like I can be more strategic. I'm, I don't, I bring less emotion to the ring, so I can compose myself better. I can withstand different things better than he could, as far as him bringing out his emotions. That's why I feel like that's where a major role in his, like his whole fighting style and things like that. He he comes off more emotional. I think he fights more, more so out of his emotion than like, you know, what I'm saying technically. Do you do you feel like you'd be able to uh, at times take advantage of those emotions that he kind of displays uh, in and out of the ring? What would fight week be like? You know, he kind of gets excited when he sees his opponents. How would you handle that? You know me. I'm. You know me. I'm like I said. I'm not a big talker, but I have people in my team who can talk a good game. And I feel like I can get them out of his character emotionally, and we can just exploit that. You know what I'm saying? And. I just feel like I'm young, like I'm young. I'm the fresh new face, I'm young, I'm hungry. And these guys, they had their time, it's just, it's, it's just like, the, just the way the game goes, you pass the torch on. I feel like I'm the next person to grab that torch and hold it. Besides I, I have to look at you when you stand up a yeah. little bit. Uh, Mendoza is tall. Yeah. He's taller than uh, I thought that he was when mm -hmm. I stepped to him up close. Yeah. He was pretty tall. He was a little bit taller than uh, Jordanus Ugas yeah. when I saw him, so, you know. Yeah. Big dude. Dang, you know what I'm saying? As long as you, we make weight the same way, man. We're going to both be the same weight. And I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for the opportunity. These are the type of fights that I want to prove myself in the division. I feel like, as far as boxing goes, I feel like I'm, I'm one of the most underrated guys in the whole game of boxing, to be honest. I don't get talked about a lot because I'm not real flashy, real flamboyant, real talkative, but. When I'm in the ring and when I'm, when it's time to fight, I mean business. So I, I don't, people, people don't translate. Uh, I feel like the how how calm I am as a person to um, like my social media and stuff like that. It don't really translate. And I feel like a lot of people don't pick that up. But man, I'm I am I'm in who I am. I'm not gonna try to be somebody else for nobody else. I'm just gonna stay cool. doing what I'm doing, keep winning, and keep pushing for the uh, big fights. Right on. Um, speaking of big fights, Brian Mendoza mm -hmm. and uh, the Tower in Inferno. Mm -hmm. A couple weeks ago, we saw the Tower in Inferno get extinguished by Brian Mendoza, yeah. uh, KO and him. Yeah. Um, what'd you think about that fight? It was actually a good fight. I thought um, I thought uh, Fondora was winning the whole fight. I had predicted Fondora to win the fight, but um, I feel like everybody had like a feeling that eventually that was going to happen to Fondora one day. But I didn't think nobody expected it to happen against Brian Mendoza. So, big ups to him. He trained a lot. He trained hard for the fight. And it ain't luck if you work for it. So, congratulations to him. But it's now it's my turn. I want to get my opportunity like how he got his opportunity. And I want to shock the world. Yeah, I actually got a new management deal. New management deal. Yeah, Wise Owl Box. I'm here with my manager right there, Mark Abibi. I'm, it's just, I feel like this is a new chapter I needed. This is a new team I needed. And from here, I just know that with my team I got now, we're going to be positioned and forcing a lot of hands to make opportunities happen for myself and push me to that next level. 18 and 0, 14 knockouts. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most technically sound youngsters in the game. 25 years old, man. Yeah. Um, you look good. Yeah. What are you training out of right now? What's going on with all of that? 
Uh, you know, I'm training out of Toledo, Ohio, still with the same team, Otha Jones and uh, Roshan Jones, and also my father. So we still, I still have the same team. It's just a, a new management and a, you know what I'm saying, a whole new team as far as that part. Okay, shout out to the folks in Toledo. Yes, sir. All my people in Maumee, Ohio as well, mm -hmm. right? Love Ohio, man. Good team Ohio, for sure. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, Ohio, good lineage of boxers. Mm -hmm. A lot of good uh, guys coming from Ohio, yeah, man. What does sure. it mean to be carrying the banner of a prize fighter from the beautiful state of Ohio? You know, it means a lot, to be honest. Like you said, we got a, a, a great lineage of fighters, a lot of good up and coming fighters, a lot of good fighters that's trying to push their way through. So, you know, I'm just excited to be a part and to put my own piece to the puzzle of the team of Ohio legacy and, you know what I'm saying, Kevin and State on my, on my shoulders. Who's your favorite fighter from Ohio if you had to narrow it down? Probably Charles but, Conwell. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, I like, um, it's, a, it's a lot. There's so many talented fighters, it's, it's too hard, you know what I'm saying? You like this about that guy, you like this about another guy. So I'm just Team Ohio all around. I don't really, you know what I mean, pick and choose as far as like best fighters.